I've been a bubble developer for most of the past five years. I had developed many templates and many projects for my clients. If there is one thing that I'm sure is that I'm not a designer by trade. I have learned throughout time and trial and error, but I still have a whole lot to learn. But I'm really excited right now for uh, what's coming ahead, and that is AI tools. So I say coming ahead, and I know you might be thinking, ChatGPT has been here for the last two or three years. I get it. Please bear with me. There are new AI tools that will make the process super simple, really easy to design exactly what you want. Now, let's go back in time a little bit. First, we started with ChatGPT, and like I mentioned, and ChatGPT was great for answering questions, perhaps writing a very first draft of a blog post and stuff like that. That was awesome. Then after that came Tools Cursor that allowed you to somewhat be able to code a tool. Now, don't get me wrong, Tools Cursor have a Cursor have evolved a whole lot and now he can, what do you call it? He, he can code almost anything that you want, but along came tools like Replit AI Agents, which was released last month. And I'm going to do some live videos here using the tool. But what I'm the most excited about least as I evolve is by two tools that are really revolutionizing the design industry, and that is V0 by Vercel and front-end AI by WebCrumbs. In this video, I'm going to put them side by side using the exact same prompt and showing you exactly how it looked like the output of both tools. We're going to run them through different scenarios and hopefully you can make a decision as for which one is the best one for you for your use case. Now, with that being said, Bear with me, we're going to jump in first on V0 by Vercel and we're going to do a quick tour. Uh, here we are on V0. What I'm going to do is I'm going to log out of here so you can see exactly how, how it looked like. I will leave the link for the tool down in the description below, but if you just want to see what it is and follow along, the link is v0.dev. So that is letter V as in Victor, number zero, dot D as in Delta, E as in Echo, V as in Victor, dot Dev. So once you land in V0 dot Dev, uh, you will have this exact same screen that you will have. Otherwise, if you're logged in, but we're going to sign in just because I want to be able to have access to everything. I don't have a premium account, so we're on the free version. And all I want to do is show you uh, how it looked like. So the first thing that we're going to do is if you need to create a new chat, because the one that you did, is either a different project or whatever the case is, and you can go here on the left sidebar and click on plus that will open a new chat. If you need to go back into your history on here, you have your history, your chats, and you can search for them. We also have projects, which is part of a paid plan and the projects, it will let you organize based on the projects. Let's say you are working for one client or the other, the project tab will help you organize that. And lastly, you can provide feedback for the tool. If you need your settings down here on the bottom left, uh, there you have your settings, whether that is for billing, upgrading, although it has many options for upgrading to looking at pricing, going back to v0.dev, joining their Discord channel, signing out, changing the color scheme, or setting a chat as default. You have them all right here. One more thing that I'm not seeing here, they might have removed it, was they had a feature. And this is not around anymore, so we're not going to look into it. What? Here you can chat with it just like you would with ChatGPT. So you can ask to provide you instruction on how to scale, how to implement a cron job scheduler, and it will give you all the code here on the sidebar, along with detailed instructions of exactly how to do it. Um, pretty sure this is powered by Cloud, which is pretty cool. And it gives you the sources down here. 
And there you got the JSON, and you got everything there. But that's not what we're interested on. What we want to do is we want to develop some from user interface. So what we want to do is I will provide a really basic prop. And here is the prop. I want a profile photo, profile card photo, cover image, contact information in social medias. Let's provide more contest. Developing a CRM SAS coverage station for social media influencers. Can company. I want you to provide me the UI dashboard. Dashboard is to have the users profile book, photo, cover image. Well, actually, no. The user analytics from their social media accounts. I don't to put it. We need these. Save under CRM. Lastly, I want you to create widgets for affiliate sales they have made. So basically, we're developing a CRM SaaS application for social media influencers and companies. This will be a way for influencers to keep track of people that they're doing business with and to keep track of their affiliate sales and commissions. And let's send that and let's see what it developed for us. So it's happy to create the UI for the dashboard and it's doing it in React. And there we can see it's developing the code in the front end. I am not a software developer by trade using code. So I have no idea what it's writing, but I heard it's good stuff. It's good for it. So while it's developing here, the code is writing the code and keeps writing. You have another tab that is for preview. Although the preview is disabled right now, probably because it's still writing the code. Typically it will show you the preview as it reaches certain point. And here we have it. This is the preview. I would say it did a pretty good job. Now, it's pretty nice and uh, you can go through the tabs. Well, it doesn't really do anything, but I think the design is fairly nice. Give you the follower count, some of the counts that I have saved and some of the affiliate commissions that they have made based on each product. I think that's a decent start. The issues that I have is, and we're going to see on front end AI, I have no control over any of these. So we're going to look at it full screen. When it looks decent, I have no control over it in terms of colors or layout or anything. I can go back and ask for changes, but that's about it. I, I like Bubble because I have full control, but I get it Bubble doesn't develop the design. So that's, that's the hard way. So now let's take a look at what we can get using front end AI using the exact same prompt. All right. So the next one is front end AI and just a first look, I can say that it looked relatively similar to what V0 by Brazil looked like. And as you can see the front end is on, oh, let's close this. Oh, um, front end is relatively similar to what V0 looked like on a sidebar, uh, center message with 
a long one. With an input field and a button, relatively similar, but there's some differences in the UI. Uh, let's floor them uh, so uh, we, we can see exactly uh, what I'm talking about. So first off, in the sidebar, we have the template field. In the template field, uh, you can see that you can focus what is building or what is doing for you based on exact use cases that you have. So you have blogs, blogs, contact us, call to actions, frequent ask questions, and so on and so forth. Um, next, we have Ask AI, which is just the exact same thing as if you were um, pasting it from um, in this input field. So, matter of fact, if you paste it here, it will appear here, and if you close it, it will disappear. Then you have an image. So if you have a screenshot of a software application that you want to mimic their UI, what you do is you drop a screenshot here and it builds the code for you. We're not going to use this because we don't need code. Uh, you can favorite any designs that you like. And you can clear the canvas. Oh, excuse me. Um, let's see. Uh, how it does. And we're going to all right. So here we have back in the front page. But we're going to paste the exact the exact same um prompt and we're going to see what happens. All right. Let's after a little bit, it did create it on the section. So I'm going to reduce the size of these. This definitely took uh, much longer than uh, V0 by Vercel. So we're going to put them side by side to see exactly how each one looks. To bring this out, okay. Let's close these. Let's bring this to the middle. Uh, um, all right, so we have our social performance, safe accounts, which I'm assuming I would have rather have these over here. And then perhaps a pop-up give me all the data about the specific account. Perhaps pre personal preference. Uh, I do like the V0 by herself better. What I do like, what I like about the front end AI better than the V0 is that I can change the colors uh, right here. Uh, it takes a little bit because it regenerates the code as um, we're big, uh, as we're changing colors. And just for you to know, the code is down here. This is the CSS. Uh, you can choose the framework that you're um, building with. So it can be React, HTML, CSS, Vos, Felt, or Angular. And you can copy the code and paste it anywhere. Um, as you can see, it has just uh, changed the color to purple and now to black. It takes a little bit to regenerate the code. Um, what I do like about this one is that it gives me a QR code or not. It works. I don't know. Um, so it went this from out there, uh, finish sales. Let's see. Yeah, I like this one because it break it down by product, but this one is not that bad. It actually is decent. Um, yeah, I have a button to add a new account. Uh, yeah, I, I think they're both pretty good. This one gives me more customization. In reality, I think the V0 Viber cell uh, wins on this round. Let's try one more. I want you to use the social media fit pay. Similar to Facebook. So it's pretty vague, but 
hopefully we get something worth using. I think this uh, V0 is working, front end is working. Uh, I think V0 will be faster, leaving aside that I said it will be zero, of course. See, still writing. Yep, it's still running the code. So, here in the next few days, I will determine which one is better for me, and I will start implementing this in a live series after I'm done with the live series that I have pending for the Instagram um, clone, which I will be finishing this week. Here's what what. We have in V0, thing is fairly solid. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it looks pretty much like Facebook. I, I think the solid, I think is usable. Uh, let's see what we get from, uh, let's close this. Okay. So. From in AI went the extra mile and added some um, profile pictures. Uh, much nicer graphics, in my opinion. Let's reduce the size of these so we can take a look. All right, so. I think, in my opinion, from an AI, when this from out, added images, added profile pictures, added usernames and everything. Uh, here we have, yeah, we have usernames, no pictures whatsoever. So, and I do like, in a way, the front end AI UI a little bit better. But realistically, this is closer to Facebook. So, you be the judge which one is better for your use case. Like I said, I will be playing around with it a little bit more here in the coming days. And I will use it to uh, build the UIs that I will need uh, to the next build in public um, round. But with that being said, I'm interested in knowing uh, what you think about these tools. Please let me know down in the comments below if you have a moment please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel it helped me reach more people like i said you know ai is changing the game and i believe that um, there are many things that will be able to be automated in the future so just keep an eye out there on the different tools if you have a tool that you want me to try please let me know and i will do my best to try thank you for watching and i hope you have a great rest of your day